Hello guys, the DV Grounder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Tristan Bridges with 1,573 rating versus Frank Sano Jer with 1,885 rating. So this could be another high rated DV video, and with that being said, let's hop right in, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Tristan win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 42 versus 41, opening hands, we have Adara, Vashuda, Blackout, Long Young, Vashuda, um, so not the greatest hand but it definitely works here um you still get to like floor synchro eight blackout and then they have ecclesia adara droplet mo yi and ashina okay so droplet will be dealing yeah on, honestly like, they're, they're probably just gonna crack the board like droplet's gonna get the monsters they're gonna be left with blackout versus like all the sword soul stuff so they're gonna special summon vishuda activate long young discard special summon token and then get rid of those, go for Fleur, burn for 12. And then just normal summon out the Adara. Um, turn those into the Grandmaster. Grandmaster effect goes search. And then that will go ahead and grab the Emergence. And then set Blackout Pass. Draws Imperm. Okay, so that's pretty good because they can just Imperm something and then chain Droplet. So like use two cards to negate the field. And then they're going to chain, so negate both. And then they're going to go ahead, special summon out Ashina, get rid of that. And then that's going to go for Monk. And then special out Adara, if they don't have anything. Yeah, it's like they could just go ahead and pop here. And they do go ahead and do this. And then they just special summon Ecclesia. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot here. Um, this is game as long as they actually go for it, but they should because they know the last card in the hand is just emergence and not like a nib or something. E even if you didn't know the card in hand, it's probably still just like worth comboing off. Or you at least would want to set up like interruptions. And then like either way you're playing in the nib, so you may as well just go for game. Unless if you can't do it, like if you could like set up interruptions while still having like if you get hit with Nib, a way to set up another interruption, then that'd be like the proper way to play it. But they just, they know, I mean, they know the card in hand, so none of that really matters. Uh, just kind of talking while they combo, since pretty obvious it's gonna be game here. Um, add that, discard, special summon, get rid of those, go for Supreme, burn for 12, going on the game two now. Do you wanna see more, or it was game? Well, I wanna see it all, bro. Oh, Tristan Bridges out of context. But going on into game two, now we're going to see Tristan go first. Opening hands, we got D Barrier, Emergence, Ash, D Barrier, Long Young. Okay, this works. Uh, D Barrier is really good in this matchup. And they have Imperm, Vishuda, Adoramo, Yi Gamma. Ooh, yeah, this hand's pretty solid. Very solid. Um, activate Emergence. And then Emergence will go ahead and search, grab the Moe. And then normal summon effect reveal long young see the thing is is that getting stopped here is pretty bad for them they do draw emergence here and then activate that chain ash blossom chain gamma so they're gonna go ahead summon out the gamma and the driver go search off the emergence and then uh d barrier call synchro oh they're waiting okay no 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 they're doing it on resolution I was like, I don't know, waiting waiting seems a little bit weird, but yeah, they go ahead D barrier there, so now the opponent's turn doesn't actually do anything. Uh, they don't have any hand traps, but they don't know that. And they draw pretty incredible here. Um, obviously with just these two, it would be like set D barrier pass. Um, so normal summon Ecclesia, tribute off, summon out from the deck. And then they're gonna summon out Mo Yi. Then go ahead and Mo Yi effect, reveal Long Young, summon out the token, get rid of those, go for Grandmaster. So they're trying to play around hand traps here. Yeah, it's like if they weren't, like there was just so many ways to like go for a game here. Like, 
let's just say this exact scenario, um, they could search emergence, activate emergence, go search Ashina, like, you know, without the Mo'yi draw, because that's like an unpredictable thing. You don't want to be like, oh, if Mo'yi draw is good, I can go for a game. Um, so they could have like searched emergence, emergence, go search Ashina, because they have a synchro on board, discard, special summon, and then banish Ashina, summon out from the deck, go for Supreme, burn for 12, um, turn the Adara into Monk, and then go for game. So, yeah, but like I said, they're playing a safe here. Set, pass, draw Ecclesia. Really good draw for them, though. They drew the Ecclesia. So, so insane last turn. Uh, Vashuda summoned itself out, and they're just like, summon Vashuda, link off for Monk, Vashuda graveyard effect. And then normal summon effect, reveal Adara, summon out the token, then activate D-Barrier, Synchro. Said so stop it, bro, please. I'm trying to be honest. Yeah, stuff like uh, D Barrier, Harpy's Feather Storm is why you're seeing like people side in Red Reboot versus Combo decks. Because like these cards are, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty good. Um, I don't know. Personally, I don't like D Barrier that much. But I do recognize that like in this matchup, if you flip D Barrier, call Synchro. They're just not doing a lot, especially because, like, they put a token that locks them in the synchro, and you make it so they can't synchro. Draw Adara. Then they're going to special summon out Ashina, get rid of that, go for Monk. Special summon out Adara, banish Ashina, summon a shootout from the deck now. And then they're going to get rid of those. It's going to summon out Baxia. Baxia, spin two back. And then they're going to activate Baxia effect to pop. So pop the blackout, special summon out from the graveyard, and then Mo Yi, reveal Long Young, go for token. Um, get rid of those, go for Grandmaster. Um, then they're going to uh, hmm, may, maybe they could have just like backseat a pop blackout, summon Adara, get rid of those, go for Chow Fang. Yeah, now like you're playing around Nib. And then you could play around Nib, then like Adara, Banish, Add Back, Special Summon Out, Long Young, and, and then you just win. So, but I mean, this is game here. A shooter, try to bounce, battle phase, go for game. Now, moving on into game three, we're going to see Frank go first. Opening hands, we have Tai, Water, Gamma, Droplet, Desires. Okay. Um, I mean, Gamma, Droplet, kind of nice. They got Mo Yi, Desires, Valor, Ashina, Emergence. Uh, their hand is good here. They're going to not normal summon out Mo Yi. So, misclick thinking. Yeah, I ain't stopping you. Think as much as you want. So activate Desires. Uh, desires go banish. You see two Adara banished off of that. Most people only play two Adara and two Taiyi and Water. So they just lost a lot off of that. <laughs> Drills Heavenly Dragon Circle and Ashina. And then uh, they're going to go ahead. Special Summon out Ashina. Get rid of that. Go for Monk. Normal Mo Yi, Mo Yi reveal emergence, and then in response, chain gamma, and then they're thinking they're gonna heavenly dragon circle tribute off to go get a search, and that's gonna grab protos. Uh, Mo Yi still is not gonna summon a token. It's not like the impermanent interaction with that kind of stuff. Um, emergence, go search Long Young, and then special summon out Long Young by discarding summon out token, and then get rid of those. Go for Fleur, burn the opponent for twelve. And then Ashina, Banish, Summon out Vashuda. Get rid of those. Go for Shaman. Um, are they going to Water Lock here? Yeah, I was going to say, it kind of seems like what they're trying to set up. Uh, banish, and then Effect, Call Water. Uh, just pray that like Water plus Fluor is enough. Draws Moe, and then Activate Desires. I mean, like they still follow up too, like... Shaman is follow up. Uh, Fleur is follow up if it's not outed. Um, then go ahead. 
banish. I see three emergence gone. Uh, nothing else really matters out of that. Honestly, the emergence doesn't even matter like that much, but it's definitely something that you want to note. Floor chain droplet, negate that. Draws double vessel. And then they're gonna normal summon out water. Uh, get rid of that, go for Monk, activate Vessel. So Vessel, go dump the Ashina, add Vashuda. And then Special Summon out Vashuda, Ashina, Banish, Adara. Uh, think, what? Embarrassing. You know, this guy deserves to lose. <laughs> nah, nah. Alright, go, go for Vaxia. Uh, Baxia effect spin back. So put those back. And then they're going to set vessel. Baxia effect. Pop. Special summon back out the Adara. Battle phase. Beat over. And then attack with the monk. Main phase two. Uh, go ahead. Turn those into Chow Fang, which is actually pretty nice here. It turns off like Ashina. Um, Ecclesia top decks. I mean. It's not like the best thing ever, but it's definitely not horrible. And then Adara, add back Ashina. And they have a lot of follow-up too. And they, they draw Ashina while they have Chaofeng. Nice. Pass, draw Imperm. Um, do you want to see more or it was game? Woo! I like that. The copy-paste. The copy-paste. Top deck after top deck. Um. Uh... Yeah, I, fair enough. That they're, they're not wrong. Hey, the top decks were pretty strong multiple times. Like we saw a vessel draw off desires. We saw Ecclesia top deck. Oh, the buy. Yeah, um, I don't know. First one was kind of toxic. So, hey, you know, if someone's toxic to you first, like, you can just copy and paste what they say. That's fair enough. Like, the, the good old copy-paste method after you beat someone that's being toxic is just, like... It, it's just on a whole nother level. Like, it's insane. It, it's nice. It's like the uh, the Christmas package sending the Santa emo or, like, opening order and passing it over. Like, it, it, it's, like, up there on that kind of level. But seeing how long the match was, it was only 26 minutes long, which is actually a really quick match. I thought it was longer than that. I'm going to be honest. Um, it felt longer than that. That's what she said. But, um, all right. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.